Hey, I'm KIC, and I think we might actually go ahead and go forward with project whatever the crap this is. It's going to cost uh, a lot of money to build this. I'm going to have to build a new wall when we're done, because I like sharing walls because I'm cheap. Well, actually, it's really more about having space, but minor details aside, we're going to move forward with this today, starting now. Let's do it. This is going to be a, a bit of a long-term project. Probably a good two or three game days, if I had to guess. Maybe maybe we can do everything today. I mean, we're starting this in the early morning when we have multiple builders on site, so theoretically they can they can take care of this. I don't I don't know. We'll see. Let's do that. There we go. That's probably what I should have done, is just done that. And then uh, saved the, the money and the time of building those things that did not need to be built. But minor details. Minor, minor details. And we're going to need to build... Oh my goodness. Let's go to our items and pause the game for station identification. Ooh, look at that. We got money. Make 10,000 total sales. That is a new objective. So that must mean we got... I don't know. Did we get some money for that? I'm guessing we did. Excellent. Let us build some staff. First off, let's have a staff door. Actually, we don't... I was going to say, let's have a staff door here, but I don't think we're going to do one there. Let's do... Let's do a staff door back here, because I think this is where we're going to make our storage area. And we need... To do that, we need to add a wall. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll do something like this, I guess. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, yeah, I don't like that. That's too small. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Let's see, what does that give us then? That gives us 15 storage. Same as the clothing store right now. But technically, this store is larger. So, ah, uh, shoot. How do I want to do this? Could just do like one gigantic long thing here. Something like... Nope, that's no good. You got to do that because this is the area that would be filled in. But we don't really need... We don't need that much storage space. That's a little obscene. So what if we do something like that? That gives us... That still gives us only 14. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let's do it like this. We'll do 16, that'll be fine, right? 2 by 8, 2 by 9. Hmm. I'm actually going to go with 18 rather than 16. I'm going to say that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and build in some new objects. And we're going to do checkout counters. And I might actually turn them like so. I don't normally do things this way. Now, I'm going to have to see what that looks like. So that would give us three checkout counters if we did it that way. The alternative is we do it like this. Two, three, and that still only gives us three. And the other, other alternative is that we do it like this. So we go one, two, three. Either way, we're only getting three. Regardless of which way, because there's more than two options, so it's not either way. Could do it like that. That gives us three back there. And that's basically the same thing as doing it like this. I think I'm going to go with it like that. And we're going to just hope that that is sufficient. I suspect it's not going to be. Uh, I don't know what to do about that right now. I mean, I guess we could leave. Could have a short line right here. I don't necessarily mind doing that. Doing four so we can do a short line. Uh, we could always remove that later. It's a thousand bucks to build it. I know it's not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and put... Nope, 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 nope. Let's not go that fast. That's too fast! That is way too stupidly fast. Here, let's put the door... ...right... ...there. Because we are definitely going to want some anti-theft stuff on this store once we get it rolling. 
Actually, I got to make sure. I got to check my, my sizing on stuff here. That's actually, that's perfect because let me show you why. There's one thing I've been wanting to place down somewhere and we didn't really have anywhere to put it. So I guess we'll put one in here and we might be, might be able to add another one on the map elsewhere. So we'll put that guy right there. We're going to add an ATM. I like the sound of that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm also going to be able to shove a vending machine in here. And then, oh man, I'm just, I'm trying to think about all this stuff. I'm going to end up utilizing a small portion of this down here. To do, nope, that's too big. To do something like this. So we'll do that, and then we're going to build. We need an object. We're going to build a turlet right there, and we'll build a turlet sink. Uh, sure, let's put it on that wall because it already exists. And then we're going to need a door. We'll do the door right there. And then we're going to need a staff door. We already have one right there. That's fine. We'll leave that staff door right there. We're going to have to redo our staff parking over here, though. That's kind of a shame. going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. Maybe add staff parking in there and there. We're almost at the point where we actually do need more parking just flat out. We'll do the staff door. Actually, you know what? Let's do the staff door right there. Because that's going to just make the, the exit a little closer to where the stuff actually is. And then now we got to figure out shelving in here. And I don't necessarily want actual shelves in here. Actually, you know what? No, that's fine because we can sell we can sell some expensive stuff in here. So we'll do let's see, I'm just thinking, what do we have as options here? We can do uh soap and shampoo, detergents, cosmetics, tooth care, deodorant, shaving cream, razors, diapers. Oh boy. Uh first aid and drugs. That's that's definitely good stuff. And then the rest of this, I think we're going to do food shelves. Uh, we will do some frozen stuff, though. So we'll do kind of like a row of frozen stuff. And I realize that takes off one more space right there. That's fine. Then we'll do some food shelves like this. And then now we get to play the rotation game of where we do this. And we start lining these up like so. And we can put one right there, one... Hmm. If there wasn't a wall right there, I can put another one right there. That's kind of a shame. That's fine. And we'll do it like that. And that's just going to have to be sufficient for now. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do primarily in here. I'd like to do something where we can get... Oh, I don't know. I mean, beverages. What do we have? We have a big supply of liquor. We might want to do a big liquor sale. I mean, technically, helps if I click on the right one. I was looking at the numbers for juices, thinking, really, that's not as much as I thought it would be. Uh, we might turn this primarily into a liquor store with some other crap. Um, but I think what I actually want to do is turn is, is just have this be kind of a, a catch-all store, honestly. And then what we'll do is we'll turn the quickie stop into the liquor store. So what we might end up doing is renaming this to the quickie stop because this is going to be more quickie stop and this is going to be more get your drink on. Kind of like this place, only a little more self-service. So I think we can we can roll with that. And we need to start assigning stuff. Actually, you know what? We can't even really do that. Well, I guess we kind of can. We need to let all these shelves and things be installed and the walls built. That'll be... It'll be helpful. We'll do that as a storage. And then this shall be a store. So I think what I'll do is I'll wait until the day's out just so I don't feel weird about this. There we go. Day's done. We're going to rename this one to... Uh, we're going to change you from Quickie Stop to... Um, I wonder if this works. I Since there's no cursor. Nope. Uh, we'll do it the Quickie Not. Because... The lines are so long that it's not quick. You know what I mean? You know, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Gene? 
And then let's go to this store. Let's manage this guy over here. Uh, manage that one, number 15. So this is going to be the new quick E stop. I think that's right with the dash and all. I could be mistaken. Let us assign a storage, number 14. We're going to need to do some road work back here. Let's remove some road work. We need to put in one, two, three, four. Heck with it. All of this is going to be staff parking. I don't care. So we just need you to remove all of that stuff. And then let's go back to managing the store. And let's hire the crap out of some people. And before we do anything, let's go when not busy, when not busy. And let's hire the crap out of some some people. Let, let's let's put some people to work. Let's let us hand out some jobs. So we're gonna just hire a crap ton of cashiers. Okay. One and two and um uh, sure, you're not very social. I don't I like having uh, you're a good stock clerk. So that's four cashiers. I'm gonna say we need more than that. Wir brauchen mehr. Woody, let's hire you. Let's hire um, Rick. So that's going to be six of them. I don't even know what the store hours are going to be just yet. Let's have it something like that. So we've got 14 hours to cover. So if we do... Oh, how do we want to do this? Three six-hour shifts? Something along those lines. So we have you come in at 7, which probably means like 7 hours. And then we have you come in at... Here, let's go down to these two. They're going to be the closing ones. So let's move them out. So they're closing, and then that way I can more easily see what I'm dealing with here. Okay, who who is off the grid here? Seven and seven. It's weird that the sliders are moving even though they're the exact same numbers. Ten and seven. Thirteen, you should be coming in at fourteen. Okay, so you come in at seven o'clock, you stay for seven hours. So that's going to be two o'clock. You come in at ten o'clock, you stay for seven hours. That's going to be five o'clock. And you come in at... 2 o'clock, and you stay for 7 hours. That's going to be... Hmm. What time did I set this place to stay open till? 22, huh? The math doesn't seem to add up to me. <laughs> I mean, it, it shows that it's covering them, but I feel like that's not covering it right. Uh, we're going to need some 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 stock clerks here. Let's hire a stock clerk. Where? Yeah, I definitely wanted to hire her as a stock clerk because she looked like she was a really good stock clerk. And we'll hire Jackie as a stock clerk. And we'll do... Floyd. All right. So our stock clerks are basically going to do the same thing. So we're going to have them on seven-hour shifts. And I realize I said six hours. I might drop that down. Here, let's experiment with the stock clerks and see how that works out. Because, I mean, part of, you know, part of this game, it really is management, right? You got to manage your resources well. So technically, we could do something like this. You could be like a four-hour employee. I mean, I guess technically, we don't really need three stock clerks, but I just, I kind of feel like the store might end up being insanely busy. So that, in case you're wondering, that's why I'm going with three, okay? I know, the math doesn't add up exactly. But I think it might not be a bad idea. So we'll do some first aid. We'll do a bunch of drugs over here. Um, can I, it's not really going to work out, is it? Can I, can I try this? Can I, there you go, look at that. Hi. Can I, can I convince you to turn your head this way? 
Probably not. Yeah, that's all right. Well, that's alternate recording cat right there. She's like, dude, I'm hungry. Well, we'll, we'll take care of that in about five or ten minutes. It depends on how this goes. Drugs. And let's see, what do we have? First aid, first aid. Drugs, and we're going to go drugs. And I know, if you look at it right now, tier two, tier two is what it says it can do. That's, that's going to change. Don't, don't get caught up with that. Let's do... Oh my goodness. Um, there are so many options that we have right now. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's do soaps and shampoos and cosmetics. I, I just, I don't even know. Um, did I not? Oh, I sure didn't. Okay, store. Here, let's... My bad. I did not realize I did not include you, so... Let's do uh, ice cream. And ice cream. Milk. Dairy. I know, I went with a lot of ice cream. You just gotta trust me on that one. Uh, and frozen pizzas. Just, I'm just saying, you just, you gotta run with it, okay? You gotta run with it. Uh, we need some food on the shelves. We're not gonna do liquor in here, probably. We might do... I don't know, we might do beer. I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, so up here we're going to do um, candies and snacks. We'll do cookies and breakfast cereal and then we're going to just kind of fill in the gaps over here with everything else so we'll do maybe um a couple shelves of sliced bread one of sauces and seasonings we're going to do some rice and pasta and i should probably be looking at some of the stuff to see what our needs are with food i always click on the wrong thing uh, so fresh meat is a really good one we did not put tables out so we're not going to sweat that right now Fresh pizzas, called that one pretty well. Coffees, coffee and tea, pet food, rice and pasta sauces. I mean, one shelf or two shelves is not going to satisfy all this, just in case you were wondering. It's really not, but whatever, it's fine. And uh, we'll do, let's see, let's do a pet food down here, and we'll do some, let's do some canned food over here. And then, because we haven't really done any beverages in here at all, Let's do one, let's do a juice in there. Okay. Let the deliveries commence. They're going to be delivering everywhere from over, just to try and get in. This is going to be great. So we don't really have any fresh stuff yet, so we're not really running a proper grocery store. This is, this is again, just a quickie stop. Now, whether it's hitting exactly what's in the quickie stop, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Just having fun with the names and all that sort of good stuff, because, you know, why not, right? Why not? We're going to pop a new loading zone down right there, and we're going to do some staff-only parking right there as well. Look at that. The store is open. There are no customers. There we go. People are filing in. There we go. Now let's get some customers rolling through here. I'm trying to watch this side, too, just to see where the staff comes in. And where the switch off is, it should be right around 2 o'clock when that switch over comes in place. Edward the cashier is going to take over. Boom, there he goes. And then Russell the cashier is going to take over as soon as Rosa leaves, anyway. There we go. Perfect. Good job, Russell. Good job, Edward. Okay, so. Holy crap. Yep. Quickie knot. And I know, we need restaurants. Oh, we need restaurants? Why didn't someone tell me we need restaurants? I want to do a little bit of a test, but that's going to actually require doing one more complete game day. Because what we really kind of need to... I mean, heck, if you want to be... If you want to be honest here... Oh, uh, look at that! Ten grand for selling a bunch of products. I like it. Uh, holy crap, we don't have enough parking, do we? Uh, 60 out of 72... 63 out of 72... We are really riding the line of having enough parking. This is insane. It's going to be madness in the morning, I think. Quickie stop, quickie stop, restaurant, okay. What I'm trying to say here is that we need to let another 
game day roll by. Main product is ice cream. Uh, the finest ice cream. It's cool. Uh, because <laughs> this is why right here, this right here, gross profit, $833, net profit, two. We really need to have a full day with products on the shelves because, I mean, the first several hours of the day, that, what the crap happened over here? This is supposed to be a loading zone. The first couple hours of the day, thank you, were really not open properly. They weren't really open. See, you know, we got our stock clerk going in, restocking shelves, everything's looking great. See, now we got people lining up. This is more what I would have expected in the morning. Look at that. We got all four all four lines rolling. We are just bouncing off the line of needing more parking. This is uh, we got to do it now. We got to do it. We we are literally running out of parking right now. Uh, to do that, we're going to have to add some additional customer parking. So we're going to do it like I don't want to put another bus stop right here. That's like way too close. Maybe we could do another bus stop over here, but I'm just I'm just going to kind of eyeball this a little bit and go if we do something like this, we can go and then we need a road right here and that'll let us do parking right here. I know it won't let me do it right now, but it it will eventually. And then I kind of want to leave some space in here for one more building, but we can kind of expand that guy out. Let's connect to that one and we'll do some customer parking right there. That's going to add another 10 or 12 parking spots. That needs to be a road. Don't get all uppity and try and take over the place parking lot. It's not okay. And then technically we have a little more room where we can expand over here, which that might be something we do at some point too. We can do something along these lines because we're not probably going to need the space up there. That's just my hunch. We could do something like this and we could add a bunch of customer parking right there. We'll be able to add more parking right there and that's fine. Let's just go ahead and roll with that. Now, the money we bring in today is going to be slightly skewed by the insane amount of money I just spent on road work. So we're going to have to kind of ignore the overall finances when we look at how much money we made. But it's okay. It'll still help to give an idea. This is something I needed to see, though. This is what I needed to see. I mean, we have... We don't have enough people working in here because they're working the wrong lines. So we got we to gotta adjust that a little bit. So we have our late cashiers. That's fine. I think what we're going to do is... Okay, so this is our middle group. I think what we do is we have them come in a little later. Although we're going to run into the possibility of not having enough cashiers really early. Maybe we'll go a day, but man, I just, I kind of want to bring in someone for just a moment. You know, let's see what, let's see what the difference is from $2 net profit to 632. That's a pretty big difference right there. That store is going to go up. Eventually it will go up. So that's not a big deal. I'm, I'm feeling okay about that. We got to let some parking stuff and road work happen that'll it's interesting what they decide to start on you never know they decided to start on that particular piece of road but we do have some additional parking so i guess you could say they started with that but whatever regardless uh, i'm gonna watch for the morning and see what happens here at 8 a.m when the store opens hey cats be nice don't fight while you're sitting on my lap that is worrisome oh my goodness yep the lines are already slammed at the quickie stop. Oh my goodness. I was afraid of that. So we're going to need a couple more cashiers and we're going to just have to do some really, really kind of... You come in for like a couple of hours, okay? And literally that's about it. So you come in at 7 a.m. You're going to stay until basically noon. And then same thing. You come in at 7 and you stay until noon. And then theoretically, uh, we'll 
If we need to stagger it out, we can stagger it out. My goodness, cats, what are you, what are you doing right now? I mean, you can see them. They're looking at each other and all that sort of thing. All right. Yep. There we go. Come on. You guys. This is this is not This is not nice. Holy crap. Look at that. The quickie stop is just slammed. We need We clearly need a larger grocery store. I mean, this is insane. But hey, we got a reward coming soon. Potentially. New objective. Have 200 customers on site. I know. Restaurants in the quickie stop is full. Because the quickie stop is not big enough. Holy crap. That is insane. Cat, um, how you doing? You, you good? Apparently, I need to go take a care of my cat. So, I'm going to go do that. And I will catch you on the next one as we figure out what to do with the quickie stop. And really need to have that talk about a big grocery store or something. Because... I suspect there's a good chance we're just leaving money on the table here. Quickie Knot, how are you doing? Quickie Knot still made a thousand bucks. Quickie Stop made 710. Yeah, that's kind of insane. Don't make me snap. 45. Drink till you drop. 348. What's the last one? Dress for more. 4807 for a grand total of 9795. Not too shabby. I can be okay with that, but I still think we can do better. But we'll find out if we can do better on the next one. So I'll catch you on that one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.